Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over Potato. His name is Rhapsody. We have completed the first mission in Slipways, and now we're moving on to Ripples in Space, which is very, very mm. exciting. Rhapsody, how are you feeling about the second mission? Are we going to be able to complete it in as spectacular fashion as we did the first? Absolutely. You know what? I'm, I'm staking it all on the line. We are, in fact, going to go above and beyond. It's going to be a five-star flat. You reckon? Absolutely. I reckon I reckon it's gonna be better than a five star plat. Why just settle for five star platinum? <laughs> Am I right? We're gonna have to mod some extra stars into the game over the course of playing this and then achieve them. Exactly. I'm down, let's do it. Guaranteed Easy. achievable. Easy. Okay, uh mission goals, we got twenty five years to stabilize and colonize eleven planets that have Ezium on them. Uh, and we mm -hmm. can do that with a space-time stabilizer, which stabilizes the easium on planets connected to it, needs chips delivered before it activates. Uh, I couldn't get my head around when I read this at first, but it's actually not super difficult, and it is quite cool. Um, yes, I will uh, I will also bring attention to that planet rule there. Unstable yes. isium, the isium deposit warps local space-time, rendering the planet uninhabitable, but when it is stabilized, and then colonized, it yields three science, which very early on can be extremely important. Okay, let's see what we got. Right, so give me your give me your top team here. Give me the the, the choices that you would like so, to see. The the first thing that immediately comes to mind is that we are going to have a rush on chips. We are being asked to generate uh, extra chips so that we can stabilize the isium deposits themselves. So. Exactly. Someone like <laughs> Silthid, who has access to joint factories, which gives him the ability to Ooh. double dip on those chips, uh, is particularly important. Possibly Aphorian could be interesting to have a look at as well. And okay. then, if you have Silthid doing the double creation of chips and bots, you immediately want to check out if Vittori or Bakar have access to the solar superconductor or to the geothermal vents, because both of those would happily generate two energy as a result. Uh, neither. 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 Interesting. That's some that's some rotten luck right there. Also, a little bit of rotten luck. I've never seen this perk before. Mm. Very yeah. cool. Very interesting. It's a new one. It is, it is super cool, and unfortunately it is in direct competition with the other one that seems <laughs> yeah. so important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, who's um, our, okay, let's, let's do Silthid, we'll do, we'll do a Forian. I haven't looked at Dender yet, but any, any chance you're interested in Dender for this occasion? Let's think about this for a second. Because I actually see one combination that we haven't looked at, okay. which is the possibility of dropping both Aphorian and Dender here and taking Bakar and Vittori. Okay. And this is because Silthid is currently offering the four research tech that says your probes are 40% larger and the, sorry, the Silthid tech over on the top left. Leftmost. Gotcha. That, there we go. The maximum scan radius of them is 40% larger, and the maximum range is 40% larger as well. And then the other two, Vittori and Bikar, have scientific fleet and explorers, giving them extra for probing new planets. So our early exploration could give us the ability to probe for perfect openings. This is not something I'm proposing we definitely do. I'm just saying that's that's something that I'm kind of seeing here as yeah. possible. Uh, it's also worth cool noting mm. Bakar there has access to the permafrost, freeze-resistant bots, which was super useful to us previously. And we are going to be generating extra robots courtesy of having silted with the joint factories. God. You know, this game is so great because you can build it in so many different ways. And yeah. it's like... It, it, it's just very cool. Um, I mean, there's so many options thing? right here. Sorry, I, I, I hate, I've just realized this very one super important thing, which okay. is Silthid has access to everted slipways there as a high level tech. Space time aversion. Yep, so the okay. averted slipways are more expensive, but they're established instantly. And also 
Bakar has access to the replicating nanobots, I think, which is his final one. Yep. Replicating nanites, which reduces colonization time by two months, so it only takes one month to colonize a planet, and the cost is zero. So it theoretically, if we high science this run, we can expand ridiculously, leveraging our economy to grow insanely within a single year. I am... There's an end game here. I am very interested. This is very, very cool. Uh, I think I think you're right. Uh, what have we got for uh, Vittori? Ascension gates? Teleporters? Okay. All right, I'm content. I'm content with this. There's also manufactured luxury, which um, I don't think we've looked at yet, which would also be kind of interesting uh, to look at, if mm. I'm not mistaken. Okay, all right. We're going to pick joint factories. I think that's, the, that's a no-brainer. I think it's just too good, isn't it? It really yep, is. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, and the other one. What do you think? I, I mean, think we go for... This is not that bad, is it? In fact, this is very good. It, it dovetails very nicely with the Joint Factories edict. It, it definitely does. It definitely does. And we are going to be trying to build a large amount of our economy around using robots and chips in novel ways, effectively. Uh, we do also have the universal miniaturization. So we do have access to the Microforge labs through Silthid. So we can even extend the usage of them further. That's true. That's true. We've we've had some we've had some good use from these in the past with, mm -hmm. uh, with energy uh, energy tie-ins, but unfortunately they they fixed that energy exploit. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm reasonably happy with with miners. I, I feel like that's a good combo. Do you think? So I feel like that's good. We could go miners. I also do have interest in scientific fleet. Yeah. I will say if we don't go scientific fleet. I would prefer, instead of going for the larger probes, to go for permafrost melting with the robots to actually be able to utilize those ice ball planets. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I think that's completely fair. Grant, um, I'm settled on it then. You happy with miners? Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's make it so. The good thing is, is that we don't actually have to make the decision right now. We can always, uh, we can always wait a little bit we can That's true. wait a little bit before making a decision. Okay. Uh, right. Let's have a look. That's a four banger, four banger. That's four banger there, four banger there. There's a five banger right over yonder. Yeah, I think you have to take that five and then the four below it. Yep. That's Is that a four below it? It's got to be. If you drag it in. It's got to be. Come on. Easy. There you go. Easiest four banger of my entire life, actually. Now that you mentioned Damn. it. Damn. Okay. You're in not, not just so far. No. But your entire life. Absolutely. Damn. Someone's bold. Okay, so... Oh, that's... I... Who... Huh, I mean, they're... No, no, that no, is just... a nice, very explorable area, and I'm glad you found it. I don't want to commit to it yet, though. I'm, I'm absolutely not suggesting that we do it. I'm just sort of seeing if there is a... There's a five banger there, um, if that's... That's incredible. If that's, and it's uh, only strong in medium sources as well. Yes, that, that's that's uh, that's what I really wanted to, to find out. Uh, so that's good, obviously. Uh, the to the north. Sorry. Yeah. To the north from that uh, colonized one. Can you find another four or five around there? Okay, that's a four with one strong and three mediums. That's not a five, is it? It's unfortunate. Oh. I mean, it's, man, that is a four. That is a four right there, actually. That it. Mm. Well, that is a four. We'll come back to this in the future, but this is very promising. I yes. would probably want to expand in that direction first. I uh, agree. Is there something? I mean, that's a four banger there. That's not bad. So you'd have to take that four and then the three below? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's just not that many high quality sources. I mean, there's a couple over couple over here, which is why I'd like to do it. But Yeah, I, I, I do like that. That could yeah. also be like a central galaxy of its own. Okay, let's yoink that. Ah, our first unstable wow. world. Oh, okay. buddy. 
So that's two primordials next to an Earth. That's a biomass combo right there, ready to be, ready to be it's made. So simple. Let me have a look. Let me see what's. Uh... Hey, oh that's real God. good. That's in fact that's very good. There's a lot of good stuff. Things are only there. getting better all the time. But that being said, uh, there's obviously nothing that we can do to get this planet turned into a habitable place until we get some uh, some chips over there. And do you want to? Yeah, I was about to say. It is possible. It is possible to reach. It is possible to reach chips all the way out over here. Uh, while yes, I would consider that at this point the length of those slipways is prohibitive. Yes, I don't disagree. Like, that'd be almost 40 just to construct it. I do not disagree. Okay, I mean, there's a three-banger down here, which I think we have no choice but to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, second. Why second. did it have to be the... <laughs> because that could easily be the generator for the chips, but it itself is unfortunately locked. Yeah. Hey, I will say this. That jungle uh, does take chips as an input for its colony. So it's pretty easy to justify creating chips in that nearby area. So, kind of what I'm seeing right now... I think, I think manufacturing chips here is is going to be what we do, probably. It feels like going in that direction. And then maybe if, making if, food here, maybe some, something like that. Yes, I would like that if we can make the aggro world a food world and that's good for us. So can I, can I ask you to scaffold some stuff for me? Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Could you make the forge world into a chips factory, please? Yeah. The earth world into an aggro world? Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, the Arctic into a colony. Uh, yep. The rightmost primordial lab into a biomass facility. This is exact. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then the leftmost into a uh, wheat production facility, and then complete it with the top becoming a. Uh, yep. Yeah, a um. Cannot colony. And until we get the oh you yeah know. you can you not mark it even no oh no I actually tell yeah, you why can. you absolutely can there you go I mean, so we I... don't even need the two leftmost paths of that but this this represents an inner core system <sighs> isn't that robust though doesn't feel like it Right. I mean, we don't even need. Yeah, we don't need these two two bits on the left: the monoculture farm and the hive world. Yeah, right. that's that's just the possible extension that justifies the positioning of the rightmost uh, primordial lab. Yeah, in my mind, at least. What irritates me? There's a is lot that, of two-way trades here. Yeah, what irritates me is that we can't get a, a colony here because of the uh, there's no path up to this to this earth lake up here that supplies the food at the moment. That's a shame. Hey, 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 oh my god, we're forgetting something. Friggin' for science is all it takes for us to get the permafrost lichen, uh, which gives oh. us the ability for that ice world to be our wheat production facility. Let's start thinking about that. I think that's the realm we that's, barrel in for a bit. That's actually super that's actually super value because then that becomes a Gaia world. That becomes a colony. That becomes a colony. That becomes a colony. Supplies to here with the robots from there. Permafrost in here. Yoink down to both of these places. I think you've done it. Uh, the one thing I'm... Hang on. So, you're getting one person from your Arctic colony into the Gaia world. So the Gaia world is currently creating one biomass. So that biomass Correct. is going to have to go to the 
facility because you'll have to get another person into the Gaia world before you can actually create the Oh, yeah, we can get I mean we can get the uh, the biomass from here if we need to for the for the arctic the primordial. We can, but is there any slightly tighter system that exists here? I got to be I honest I'm, because I'm I'm not loving the, the start. It's it's not a it's not the easiest to to, to work around. I I don't I don't think it's the easiest to work around, but I think it's because we have a lot of options. So I think it's a good start, but I think it's a, a, a noodle scratcher of a start, certainly. Yes, I want to look at the jungle and that becoming a uh, production yeah. facility for the mechanized harvest. Yeah, and then this becoming the uh, the colony up there. I, I think that's better, actually. The the problem here is the the robots. We're going to have to get two inputs of ore into that forge world to be able to create two outputs of robot. One robot going to the uh, the harvest facility and then one robot going to the ice world. Wait, hang on. Are you? Is this a different solution here? Hang on. I don't... No, think... we still need two robots for that to work. Yeah, also... Uh... Yeah, we do. I mean, we can do that if, it, if that's not a chip facility, but it does need to be a chip facility, right? We can get a second robot, like, down here, if we yoink that in there and then, you know, get a scrapping operation here once we've stabilized the planet. It is an option. Um, I don't love it, but it does get us a Hang little on. bit of science. Also, this doesn't even need to be... doesn't even need to be here if we're going to get the uh, permafrost. Well... Good, doesn't it? Because the permafrost is, that's the ability to do what we're doing on the Arctic world on the ice wall planet instead. However, that Correct. ice world, uh, that Arctic world is positioned that its extra wheat can by itself complete the requirements of another Gaia world over in the far left, the colony. That's very true. Yep. And then we don't need to faff around with, uh, with that. Yeah. It gives a, it's a pretty centralized position for a, for a wheat creator. Um, can I say, a lot of this will be a little bit easier if we take one more scan to the north, I think. I think. Is that is that a better thing to scan, or is that a better thing to scan, you reckon? I, th I think the... Yes, this one that you're currently that one. keying in on. All right. Um. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't going to help us at all. I think we do this. Uh, I don't particularly want to, but... I don't think we need to at that point. All right. Well, this I think was this to is... see if we had anything else that we could loop into this, especially if we had anything else we could export more wheat to from that Arctic world. Because honestly, what we're going to need at the very start is a wheat production world that is powering a couple of colonies. Because then those colonies are creating people. We get our science in one track. And also, we get our economy off because the colonies make the most money. That uh, is that is good, actually, do... though. So that's nice. So it's, it's yeah, it, it, it's not half bad. That um, I do like this this scaffold as it currently exists, but I wonder if that forge world has to be bot production for this to be as tight a system as it can be right now. I mean. You're not you're not wrong. It could definitely be bot production, but it just seems it just it seems, seems like we're sh shooting ourselves in the such foot. Such a deficit. Yeah. It does. I mean, we don't need to necessarily In fact, hold on. Why do we need this mechanized harvest? We absolutely don't. Like we just don't need it. Uh the what was the mechanized harvest? It was, oh, the mechanized it was, yeah, harvest was for, was the... for the lichen on the ice ball, mm -hmm. um, which we don't need. So that keeps it to one singular bot. It, it, God, I mean, these slipways Ooh, are going to be mega that's expensive. That's so much better. Oh my God, this is so much. Can you turn that goddamn jungle into a colony, please? Oh. Triple dipping on the wheat. Triple dipping on the wheat. 
this is incredible. I love this. I rubber stamp this. I I approve of this message. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Let's uh do that. Okay. Good. Uh, are we happy with that as a first action? I don't. I think it's six and a half a dozen. To be honest, uh, I don't think it really matters. Actually, could we undo that, please? I'm trying to predict because Bakar might ask us to make four rocks, and if it does, we don't want to have any rocks made yet. Okay. So right, that may be a significantly yeah. better move than one that you just did because we don't have Dendi here, so they're not going to ask us to make wheat or people. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's great. Let's, uh, well let's, let's, let's check it out. Hey, oh. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a try. It was an attempt. Okay. We're going to make one robot already. So we're going to make one robot for sure. Maybe the potential of a second if we have another planet that will feed the, the robot factory. So that's not bad. I mean, one tech. Are we... I mean, an early lab. You, you, you're, you're big into early labs these days, or so I've heard. Ease. Rumors have have, uh, have said the so. Rumors have reached your ear. Indeed, they have. Of, of a keenness on laboratories on my part. I don't. This I, is I, no I, lie. I, yeah. I think we should take invent one technology and one of the other ones. I think it is the one to lock in because I <laughs> well, think it is already what we need to do. We are certain that this is the best path. I agree with Vittori through and through. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, is there a better way of doing this? I feel like there is a better way of doing this. undo that or is there a better way of doing this not over much no not really fine okay perfect now we don't have to immediately complete the guy world up in the top left. That can be a project for the future. We don't mm -hmm. need to finish that person on the bacterium lab just yet. All that's grand. It's just we have the scaffold for that in the future. Um, we've got two forebears that we should start considering because they may just have like eight research in them. Yes. I mean, that will have four, which will get us quantum scanners, even if it... Which immediately finishes the Vittori tech. Or we could go for the, the permafrost lichen, which we're not finding a good position for right now, uh, considering that was way more efficient, the, the move you'd worked out there. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see with the rest of the galaxy. I, I could probably be convinced of scans again, to be entirely honest with you. Dude, they're so good. They're I think they're low-key just fantastic. I mean, 40%, I mean, what? it's because it's, it's a circle, right? Like, it's, it's just big. Like, I don't know, like, radians like you know degrees circles just look bigger like they just they just look big. okay i'm gonna connect these up okay uh oh that's nice very very nice there oh uh, we're gonna get we it just soon. found where we're gonna study um biomass one person one biomass from that there's another biomass from the biomass production facility and another person from the gaia lab that is uh one person one person one biomass one biomass that's a total of five science one person, one person, one person, two biomass. Sorry, two people, two biomass. It's the Gaia world on the left is going to have to be colonized first and looped into the system because otherwise that biomass production facility isn't going to make enough. Then we cut off this though. We cut off Dagda as a weak connection to the a weak connection. Earth world. Ah, you're right. We do. So we would have to loop the other production facility. Th that is to say, the other primordial would have to be looped in as a wheat production. Mm. Yeah, it's, I, yeah. No, I don't, I, I don't. I don't love that as much right now. I don't. I don't hate it. I mean, but the great news is, is that we don't actually have to do anything with that until we connect this up, right. and we'll see what we got here. It's this. What? Use the communication hub to boost productivity. Add an extra unit of each produced resource on all connected planets. This That's... former communication hub can still offer instantaneous communication across light years, boosting our planets. 
The type of boost wow. depends on what we use the limited bandwidth for. Only planets that are at least established connected to this will receive the benefit. So the top one was what? Sorry. An extra unit of resource. Game of two each research. Produced resource. Look at dude. Look at use communication hub for scientific discourse. Two science on all connected planets that make people. That's literally like one right now, unfortunately. The one. Yes, that's true. It's not great. We would want to scan the nearby area before we actually choose what we do with that. Absolutely. Um, and you know what? I think I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the pitch for quantum sensors as just being too valuable right now. I I accept. I mean, it's just instant. Look at look at the vision, right? Like that's just completely changed the game. I mean, now yep. we're not talking and about four or five bangers. We're talking about like seven bangers. Like, what the heck? I didn't even I didn't even know the bangers went that high. <laughs> uh, could you could you quickly also show me the second option in the top four bear ruin? I think I overfocused on the top one and I missed it. Six science. Oh, it was just six dents in science. I, I yeah, I I think it's I think it's I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I think there is nothing for it other than a couple of scans. I. Hey, can we scans. um, can we talk about enlightenment for a second? The technology, or the, you know, the yes. general scientific, you know, period what? in Europe. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm talking about the uh, the state, the uh, the state of being. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Enlightenment okay. Yeah. Is the, the first in the tier two tech range, seventeen okay. science. Yep. Uh, establishes enlightenment on a planet, so it reduces the number of imports required to uh, become successful and the number of trade routes required for prosperous, as well as provides a good to a planet. It is possible that due to the way that we have to interact with our forge worlds in order to get extra bots for the sake of, you know, whatever production we're doing on the side, because we do have a bot-centric kind of uh, production at the moment, and want to in the future with the microchips as well, it's possible that we may just avoid taking goods at all and just go for enlightenment. Do we have any other planetary projects we would prefer? That's exactly what I was about to say. Um... Manufactured luxury, is that a project? Nope. It just does it. We don't. We literally don't. We don't at all. So we can now start planning our galaxy around enlightenment, which means we're not making goods until we get that 17 science. We don't have to. I think you're right. Also, I... I've never really used slip amplifiers. That is a project, mm. isn't it? That that is a project. If we were to yes, go for yeah, that, yes. um, I've never used them. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a rough one. Yeah. Um, I I haven't used it successfully, and it feels like a lot of the time the situation where it is most powerful is also the situation where you don't want to use it, which is you know you need to have an early, very long connection between two planets. That's a lot of cost number one and second man that cuts off a lot of pathways you want to use in the future yeah i feel you okay um i think the priority for now should be a lab that's kind of i feel like we're yes. kind of at that stage where that's kind of important so i mean what? i would maybe i would maybe think that what do, what year are we over. sorry we are three years in or two years in, in fact. Uh, okay, we're just under two full years in. So I'll, I'll say this. Before year five, we are going to need a lab that's studying, like, at least three. Would be nice. But I don't know if we know how to do it just yet. I would love to do the communications hub as our way to do it. Can we start some scanning to see the nearby area? Yeah, so, I mean, there, for, in my mind... Either scanning this area, this area up here would be would be pretty beneficial because if we have other ways of making resources that we are interested in scanning, there is there's a combination here. I think. I mean, there is a world in which we are able to get the chip for the unstable Elysium. We colonize this planet. We yoink that together. We turn this into a biomass facility, as as you were kind of suggesting, and we are able to get you know 
maybe another biomass planet from something down here, and bish bash bosh, we got a lab that's studying three biomass, something like that, you know? Oh uh, no no no! I was I was gonna be using the uh, the other primordial world as the wheat creation facility for the yeah for the Gaia world, so that you could use the uh, biomass from the bottom primordial as well as the biomass from the forebear ruin. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that would just be two people as well as two biomass enclosed there. It's That's... not it's not great, but that, yeah. that was the one I was more looking at. Oh. Oops. Uh. Yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't, but uh, I guess the point, the point is not, uh, is not what we do over here. It's more the, my, my, uh, my point was this scan, this scan for Intel or this scan over here or in fact, both of these. I mean, I think those, those are the two key areas, right? Right now. Yes. Maybe that up there as well, but I don't know. What do you, what do you think? You want to do West West? I, I think figuring out if we are going to turn that forebear ruin into our primary production of science early on is possibly the most important thing we can do. So I'd like okay. to scan this nearby area for colonies. Let's do that one. Especially, that one. Uh, well, not. is there any way you can hit, because uh, can actually, before you go for the probe here, could yep. you drag from the Arctic facility wheat uh, down to the left of that I feel like that probably works yeah it probably works that one's gonna need to be included as well because if that is a call well actually we man anything that can reach and give wheat to needs to be included anything anything the forebear ruin can reach because I mean it's, the wheat's not the issue it's the uh, it's the connection from the forebear ruin right it's, it's true it's, it's the combination of both really because we can, I mean, we can squeeze, I mean, we don't need to supply with wheat. We can always squeeze in another, another production route. I mean, I, again, I think if I just scan it, we should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start, uh, start getting some good scans down there. I'm not going to be overly picky about them. Oh, I do like that one, though. One, two, yeah, okay, all right. I think we'll be able to make that work. God, I did, so that's what, six? That's eight. That's an eight banger. I mean, that's just so... Oof. Well banged. It didn't bang in response appropriately, but... <laughs> Inappropriate banging. Yeah. Okay. Um... Oof. Oh, um, yikes. That is a root. Right there. Which... Yeah, it is. Pretty happy about it. Yikes. Uh, and then... I don't think there's going to be anything better. We'll do that as well. It's out of range. Um, there is... There is something with slip amplifiers here. Because that would allow us to connect up this. Uh, will it do anything? Yeah, I don't think Not that's... really. <laughs> um, don't think that one's our saving grace. Um, can, it can't connect to that uh, ocean world, right? The one we just revealed? Uh, you know, no. the funny thing, I actually think it could if we got slip amplifiers. Oh, they absolutely. Easily could, yeah. Yeah, the range is 50% extra. Um, and in fact, it could connect up there and then... That's actually. Mm. Let's let's continue looking over on this uh, this right side for the moment. Yeah, we are uh, very low on the old uh, cash. Yep. I mean, we're about to roll over the year, but yeah. <laughs> but also, yes. Basically, <sighs> if we're gonna roll over the year, we should take we should take this exactly. if we're gonna take it, mm -hmm. which does actually reduce our income by one, but I think it's just worth it, to be honest. It it definitely is. I, I'm now bending all of my knowledge towards attempting to get at least two more science out of that Correct. Uh, early yeah. on. I think that Swamp World could become a colony. And yep. yeah, it's it's got a chip creation that it requires. There's chips nearby, but also we are going to have to put chips into that nearby facility on the Remnant world. 
That okay. remnant world would have the ability to trade with both colonies next to it. Yeah, it it's would just be. We have to stabilize it first, which is it would be. Sucky. It would be very good. Um, we have no source of wheat, though. That's the unfortunate reality. Mm -hmm. uh, for the swamp, and I was just having a little look at what is the, what is the likelihood that we get wheat. I mean, we'd be making, we'd be making a gamble. Taking a gamble, making a gamble, taking a gamble. There's also six science, which we can yoink right now. So we can get eight science at the start of next year if we wanted to. Doesn't and help us over much at the moment. It doesn't help us at all. Hmm. Is, can you, is, the, can, is, is the play can you just show to, me the... Like, me. hit another scan? Sorry? Yeah, go for it. It may be to hit another scan, but if it was, it would be back up in the area you indicated at the very start, which is over near that Gaia world on the left. Yeah. Um, but before we think about that, could you show me the colony on that Arctic world? Uh, the one over to the right side of the final mineral planet. Gotcha. Hmm. It's a... Uh... That is a connection. It's definitely a connection. And it is a two-way trade as well. What else is around here? Not much. Not much at all. But that being said, like, that's probably not the worst. That's probably not the worst idea because, I mean, if we're able to... It doesn't accomplish enough. It doesn't. It doesn't accomplish enough, but um, oh, if it does get us, it does get us an asteroid. But I mean, then if we connect that up there or stabilize it over there, then that's a problem because then we cut off the route between. Mm -hmm. uh, we cut off the route between this, which is what we're doing. This whole um, thing for. Let's let's go with the scouts on the left hand side. Cool. Or at least a scout. It'll roll over the year. Uh, what do you prefer? Up there or over here? Probably the, the probably the lower one. We need to hit that high source up there. Yeah, because that's not going to be collected in any other group. Actually, can you see? Uh, hang on, because we're also going to need the four positive uh, sources, like directly yep. to the north. What's the best one for those? Yeah, because it's in a weird position where you can't also get that other symbol. Yeah, I think that's it. That's literally it. So if that's the if those four have to be gotten by themselves, then you're going to have to loop the top unknown signal into the other batch as well. So the one on the left hand side is going to have to be pretty high. Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do that. Right. That's an interesting one. Actually, that's really more, interesting. More impetus for the creation of microchips in the area. Microchips. There's also the chance of a mechanized harvest as well, which is good because it doesn't interfere with... Doesn't interfere with any of this. That's... Oh, that's a thingy over there. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Okay, let's see what we've got. This connection doesn't have to happen. I kind of like this, and that does give us one, two, a third, if we do go for a silted thing over here. Plus, we get our second robots. Sorry. What? Sorry, uh, I'm thinking of a lab in the center here. Lab in, lab in the center for, here somewhere. For biomass, you're saying? Correct. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Okay, so, sorry. So that... That Gaia world isn't part of your plan, right? Uh, it would be a second person. It doesn't have to be, though. It, it's, it's very optional. Well, because it, it cuts off... The connection for it to get wheat cuts off the biomass. Sorry, that was uh, incorporating your little... Ah, uh, right, okay. There. So I, I like that a bit more if we can justify where we're going to use that wheat. The excess wheat from the primordial. I... I don't think slip amplifiers is a. Look at the look at the one fifteen. Look at the one that costs fifteen. 
Would you prefer that? that? I am, I'm oh, easy, every, I'm easy, easy. Every slipway gets 30% more and it's not a project. It's a lot better, isn't it, for five extra it's research? It's so much better. If we're gonna take one of them, I would be happy to take that one, but I would actually prefer to take another very cheap tech and move next into the next tier of tech. I think you're, Enlightenment you're making, awaits. You're making a good call. I think you're making a good call there. Um, we're not exactly cash strapped, but we're not exactly what's the opposite of cash strapped? Cash unstrapped? Cash flush? Cash flush, I suppose. Okay, yeah. We're not cash flush. Uh uh Hey, I will say that maximum slipways uh extension would give us the ability not only for yeah, both of those to connect but also for the Gaia world that we currently have in the north to fund that biomass lab in the bottom left, the, the biomass production facility on the primordial world. And suddenly okay. the creation of a primordial thing over there becomes really easy. Yes, actually, you're, you're totally right. I don't even need that. Um... Of course, that's a plan for how to get more science when we have already gotten 15 science at that point, so... Yeah, yeah. The other thing that I'm current, currently thinking of, is there anything around that will give us money? I mean, is there... I think that, to be honest, this is a pretty decent scan because it'll maybe give us a roadmap on how we can colonize to get this asteroid cached, which I would quite like I, to do. I really, I really don't think asteroid is what we focus around. Asteroids are there when everything else has gone wrong. Asteroids... Like, I, I've seen you occasionally look at a planet like, we're going to colonize this. Why? There's an asteroid near it. It's like, that. Uh, we need more reasons. I mean, it's only like if... It's only if we were going to colonize it anyway. Like, is there a way to optimize the colonization in order to, 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 to crack it at I, the, the right time, you know? I, I think we should break that scaffold on the right-hand side. I don't think it's it's good. This here. The right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I don't stand behind either of those at this point. They look uh, pretty poor. I think you're not wrong. Um, I mean, we need cash. We need cash. We need to get a lab. Mm -hmm. We need... We need everything. I don't, um, I, yeah, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Can we, can you show me the densest that you can get in the bottom left for a scan? Five banger. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be brought closer into the rest of the system because it's gonna have to be integrated. I don't think I can get that. Anything to the north of that? No, like, j just slightly north, so that it connects still, yeah, something. That's yeah, pretty decent. Hmm. Just hypothetically, I mean, our income is, what, 24 at the moment. I'm just curious. It's worthless. Yeah. Totally worthless. There's not even a way that we can supply goods to Malcolm 5. Unfortunately not. Okay. I think we need to take one of those scans off to the left. You prefer left over over up top? Yep. There's nothing that we need to expand or solve up top. Left gives us the ability to start thinking about our biomass lab better. And also we have wheat free standing over here. Waiting for a home. Okay, I mean, I think that's just out of range. Yeah. Mm. Shame, but not the end of the world. Uh, and it, that's actually super good as a colony because we can basically satisfy all the requirements if we get wave augmentation. Uh, so that's quite yep. nice. I do like yeah. that. Yeah, I rate that. Let's pin that in. Um, let me pitch this. Hit me. The Vittori option in the top Forge Bear is six science. Yep. 
So next year, if we took that, we would have 10 total science. Yep. If we can build a lab and or colonize planets after stabling them with Isium to get to 15 by next year, it may just be worth popping that Vittori for the study and just connecting everything to Forge Bear Ruins for the extra research. That's a bold play. Hypothetically, uh, this, this really sucks to do, but... Yeah, right, because it only stabilizes one thing. That does... Wait, hold on. That does give us... What? Yeah, you connect to it. You get three science. No, but our income. Wait, does supplying a chip count as a trade? Wait, what? Yeah, you're trading. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't even need to connect to a planet. You just build... That seems a bit exploitable, actually. Not over much. I mean, you are going to need uh, to leave them for usage. Yeah, but look, okay, so our income is 20... Our income is 24 at the moment, right? It doesn't cost anything to maintain. It doesn't cost anything to maintain at all. Uh, we build it for 10. It gives us 5 income, 5 trade income. It pays for itself in 2 years. That is... Actually... Yeah... It's, it's fine cool. in the circumstance where you don't want the chip for anything else. Where you oh, are they, certain you aren't going to use it. No, I'm, I'm, just say, I'm just saying, like, as a thing, I mean, plus then you can use it to do the thing that it needs to do, and that's, and that's great. Uh, we are bang out of money. Um, is I'm this just, what you want to do over here? I'm not, I'm not saying it is what we want to do over here, but I'm just saying it is, uh, it is the way that we go about getting three extra science through an easium unstable pathway. yeah it's it's just will that want to create chips specifically i i just want to look at the other options possible um so it creating bots is only good for creating wheat in that nearby area uh yeah. it creating rocks would give us the ability to get two rocks as well as a person into a lab as well as uh put extra people oh, or put extra rocks into the forge bear uh, the forge world forge world i mean sir um but then we would have to find usages for those extra no 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 i think you're right i think the previous scaffold works i i do like the idea of connecting that into the system as well uh, do we need to though that's the real question i mean it's we only need to if we're after wave augmentation next year or whatever it is well i mean if it increases our science on the way uh, increases our science and our income on the way to getting wave augmentation it's serving enough masters i will say final thing that really sells me on that is the swamp world uh takes a you, you don't want to put it directly in between them because you may yeah. want oh you do you don't need to connect those in the future sorry you do need to put it directly between them i apologize uh i think it's fine here right like just in case I mean, if you want to do a just-in-case play, instead, make it so that uh, you would be able to connect from that space-time averter up to the north. Ooh, up to those unknown idea. plots. The problem with that is money. Uh, uh, you don't want to loop in that Arctic world and create a situation where you can't... Yeah, so, like, it'd be there. Well, I mean, it can be even way lower. <laughs> it just has to be... It way, way lower. It just has to have the ability to shoot a line through uh, the Arctic and the okay. mineral world. <laughs> so it can hit one planet, one planet here. If this is a planet, if this is an easy hey, planet. Hey, I mean, it, it's, it, you know, it costs the same as yours, but it has the ability to possibly do something. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I, I agree. Okay. Um, Is it chips that we were going to do? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're going to yoink that roid. And then yoink that together. That's 10 extra income. That, in fact, 12, actually. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think that's mm. pretty, pretty satisfactory. I'm happy with that. That's a pretty... It's a pretty nifty 
That's a pretty nifty play. Okay, so that puts us on seven science next year. Seven uh, science plus six is 13. So we're still two away. We'll get it the year after. Uh, Yeah, can we make that a swamp and connect the forebear ruin to it? Uh, a colony this, here. This year, almost certainly not. Yeah, but can we scaffold that? Yeah, we sure can. Because that, that that's just two science created in that facility there, and we get another. We don't have an, uh, we don't have any wheat though. That's the only that's the only issue. We can hang can, that wheat for the moment. Can do a scan to determine what's going on. I think a scan up here is not a terrible idea, but um, I don't hate the idea of a scan up there. Um, I do feel we're a bit limited on actions right now. Very much so. I mean, there is. That roid, which you can pop. In fact, there's this roid that there's no reason not to pop. Uh, I guess, guess we're doing scan and then two two scans up in the north. I think we I think we are. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, the problem is always having to include the nearest. Ooh, that's a good one. That's pretty good. Actually. I don't think we need another scan immediately up there if we... Because I think there's a way denser one down to the south now. That one there? Yeah, because it connects two central zones. I think you're right. Okay. We're back in We're back in the money. That's our, that's our forebear ruin there. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And that would get us enough. If we... Insta colonize this, yoink that across, which I'm not going to do obviously uh, until we've discussed it. That does get us to where we need to go. Also, I'm currently thinking that our that our mission should maybe be a slightly higher priority uh, to get this. Yeah, yeah we do want to be colonizing Isian planets. We oh are no, going sorry, to not even not even that. Oh. I'm sorry, uh, silted uh, thingy. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um. I think the primary problem with that is we we're like not really creating that many colonies at the moment, so not really creating that many bots to create the wheat for them. Yeah. I think. I think which of those is, is the wheat production facility over there? Because if that's the colony that, and it's connecting in that way, that would be the, okay. That would be it because we get the two we get the two science from the forebear ruin. We pop this, that gets us 15 science. We pop the wave augmentation. That sorts out that pathway. It sorts out uh, this pathway. It sorts out that pathway. It opens up so many more options for us. Um, none of which we can actually do right now because we are kind of totally broke. But it will open options. The other thing that it uh, does is it cranks us into the next admin empire level which really sucks because it takes our income from 36 all the way down to 27 again and if we're going to mm. be building big long slipways then that's going to make me very sad very I, sad i uh, yeah it's a good if it's a really a... good play this is a good I, I like this play it's just i don't think we can afford it now <laughs> yeah it, it comes down to is there a way to get two more science before next year without expanding the size of the galaxy uh, uh, which I don't think there is, unfortunately. Unless one of these spots is a forebear ruin, the answer is no. That's very unlikely. There's a nearby forebear ruin there. Given exa exactly, yeah. I mean... Oh, we can't even get a lab, can we? No, not really. Even if we were to build a lab somewhere, there's nothing that we can study. Um, could you, could you, I, I just want to see how much money this has cost. Uh, yeah, yeah, the sure. swamp in the bottom right, could that become the colony and then connect itself to the forebear, please? Yep. And it that can. one. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to have the wheat yet. Um, That's pretty... Uh, well, not even the weed. It doesn't even have to have the, the chip yet, but it does get more income for that. It takes our income. Unfortunately, this leaves us on yeah. two wealth with the rest of the entire year. So we've got two asteroids to pop for a total of 12. Uh, not really what you want to be relying on. 
Not really at all. The, the question is, is that a better play than whatever else we could do? So there is this here. So there is a nice little nice little thing there which can do that and that this year that would get us six signs well we would have to colonize both of them uh that's true it's not just connecting to them that's very true i do like that play um, it's nice go undo 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 Okay, uh, could you show me the uh, the mineral world down to the south becoming a mine? Okay. Uh-huh. So there would have to be a position for that mine to be able to access... Mm. You cut off the Forge Bear Ruin by doing that from the ocean world, unfortunately. That's that's true. I was just sort of assuming that it would be connection over that way. Yeah, but this like economy is our problem. Like in this immediate moment, I'm trying to find a way that we can get a really really core cool system going on, and that would be part of one. But it doesn't look good enough right now. I agree. I mean, two way trades, right? They're super valuable. Probably why this colony is like, even though it kind of kind of blows, is is not. Like, super terrible? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, there is a world in which we just try and bash out the Silted mission, maybe hope for another good mission, but... Don't know about that. Yeah, the Silted mission's particularly hard because we have to get so much more uh, stone into the Forge Worlds if we want to create multi-purpose factories for them rather yeah. than just robot factories like a single yep. robot factory getting a single ore at this point would complete the silted mission yes totally well let's let's have a look around and see if there's any way that we could justify doing that I entertain the idea if that was a bots factory what happens what happens if that's a bots factory what happens if the other one's a bot factory that doesn't do anything for us unfortunately well i mean it doesn't do anything for us at the moment because That's we're true. looking at that being a colony next to it. But what if that isn't a colony next to it? Then what it if would that be makes useless. Wheat? Well, I mean, you know, let's, <laughs> let's think about it. We have to. Yeah. Can you colonize that and see if there's, you know, sources of planets nearby? Not completely awful with the extra 40% <laughs> scanning that we have. Uh huh. Um. The, if we're going to do this play, I, I much prefer this setup up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just taking my time looking at that option as well. And let's have a look up here in the top left. I mean, in fact... Boom. That's... That's all doable. Right now. Yes, it is. I, I, think, I think it's not bad, but I do want to know what I'm doing with those bots. Because, like, that bot just making a random biomass that's not doing anything is not helping anyone here. There is still the option. There, is, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm not going to click the tasks button. But, um, but there is still the option for studying biomass in the middle here. Like, that's still a very, very live option. Because I can actually you show think... Me, can you, can you show me one of those right now? What lab right here? Well, I mean, is that where you're going to put it? Uh, yeah, it could be. I mean, something like that in there. So end up getting one connection, two connection, three connection. Uh, that would be a, it could be either or, to be honest. It could be either a, if it's a Gaia world, can that connect? I can't connect up over there. Um, it could be, could be, could be either or. Mm. I think mm. we can make it work. The we problem is making, making that Gaia world stable. Uh, without being, uh, without using the northmost as a chip production facility, 
Yeah. Oh, we also have the, of course, I keep forgetting that we now have, well, I say we now have, uh, once I've unwound this, we won't, but we will have that extra biomass that we're studying, which is, or, which is good. We'll, we'll have, have six more science and start making longer slipways. I actually think, I think, I, I think that's like the fork in the path. Yeah, I don't. Totally. I don't think the lab is bad, but I will say, the lab is going to cost a lot of money, and it is going to give us very little science right now. Whereas currently, we have plans for using the lengthening of the slipways to make more science as well. That's true, but it's going to take us two years. I mean, if we were to take this right now. That puts us on 13 science. We'd still not be able to build it until the end of next year. So two years from two years from now. Yeah, we, we would be building like robust systems in the interim. Like the stuff that you did was pretty decent. It stuck well and it increased our income reasonably. Let us fare through to the next year without losing that much. That was okay. So uh, there might be a better option somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I mean, my, I guess my rationale is that if we're going to be building those robust systems anyway, and we're going to be building this robust system, if we take study life, then we can get what five research. Basically, we can get four research right now. We can get five at a point in the future, which means that over the course of two subsequent years we'll be able to easily surpass the amount of money at uh, the amount of uh, research that we were able to get at the study life forms thing. It's, Plus, it's the point at which it's the point at which it arrives. That's different. Oh, of the course. ability to hit 15 next year so that we can start like, but things I mean, like that dire world linking itself just down to the biomass world and fulfilling it. Like that's going to be a huge trade in greed for us. You're, you're, you're totally correct. However, I mean, if we're going to do that, we're probably going to have to, we're going to have to save like a whole bunch of money in order to do what we want to do. Because mm. we are in a very cash strapped situation. Basically, the point that I'm trying to make is that if we're going to have to go through two years anyway, we might as well scaffold something which will give us the returns long term. Anyway, given that we're not going to be able to do anything short term. I mean, if we're rushing for wave augmentation, when we get wave augmentation, we're not going to be able to do anything with it until at least the year after. Mm. I, I I'm reasonably happy with Damn. this as well because it gets us the it gets us the silted mission finished. It's the difficulty with the Gaia world over on that left that makes it most complicated for me. I I, I will say. Mm. This is the kind of thing that it feels like we may have to figure out the choice, one or the other, by the start of the next episode. In the next episode. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Open Potato. He's been Rhapsody. This has been the slipperiest of slipways. Check out uh, channels linked down in the description below. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Adios.